What's up, YouTube? This is Red Zone 101. As always, God bless and peace. Look what I got here. Yes, I got another gun. <laughs> and I wanted to talk about this one. Hey, guys. This is the SIG P365 X Macro Tech Ops. And I gotta say, there's some things I really like about this gun. But then, I, but then there's some things that I wasn't too thrilled about. So... I wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons with this gun. Just got back from the range. I put about 200 rounds to it. And now it is probably one of my favorite carry guns. But I had to do a couple of things to get to this point, And I wanted to talk about that. Now, again, well, let's try this. The gun is unloaded. Okay. Don't even have a mag in it. Okay. You know, let's get right to it. I want to talk about couple of the cons okay now when I went to my local uh, gun store FFL dealer you know I saw this gun and I remembered a friend well this guy at the range he let me uh, hold his and I just thought I just fell in love with the way that it felt I mean I love the slim design I love the grip on it it just felt good in my hand it just felt like wow this gun was supposed to be with me so I went to my local FFL dealer and I purchased one. Now, I did try the trigger out before I bought it. But once I got home and I tried the trigger again, I realized something. Now, I am not really a gun snob, but when it comes to a good trigger, I, I, I am a bit of a snob when it comes to that, okay? I like a good trigger. And... Um, I wasn't loving the trigger. The trigger felt like it was about a five to six pound trigger. Now that's not horrible if it's a double action gun, but for a striker fire gun, which this is, I was not loving it. So I uh, went to the Encarbo site. Where's that at? Yeah. There we go, Encarbo. I don't know if you got, there you go, that's better. I went to the Encarbo site, and I started looking. And I found out that they make a trigger, uh, it's a trigger, striker, and uh, sear spring upgrade for this gun. So, for $19, I figured, you know what, let's go for it. So I purchased it, I had a gunsmith to put it in, and let me tell you, this is a great trigger i mean this is now a great trigger. it was an okay trigger to begin with nothing to write home about just okay but now it went from what i consider i'm pretty sure it was about a five to six pound trigger i could feel it when we did uh after the uh install he installed the um um the striker spring sear spring and the trigger spring this went from about a five to six pound trigger to about a well we tried it on the trigger gauge, it went to a 3.5 trigger. Beautiful trigger, beautiful reset. It's a little bit of take up there, a little bit of take up, and you just pull a little bit more, smooth all the way through. And the reset, very nice. I really like, I really <laughs> like this gun now. I really like shooting this gun now. So. That was one of my biggest gripes when I bought it. I didn't like the heavy trigger, okay? Um, the only other gripe that I can think about... Uh, was this right here. Now, this is the magazine. Now, this particular gun... <clears throat> there's been unboxing, so if you want to watch some of those to see what everything that comes with it. But this, this is a... Um, a 17 round mag it comes with four 17 round mags now the mags seem to be decent to me um, I've heard people say that you know they've had problems where if they dropped it you know the mag would come apart when they dropped it on cement I personally don't drop my mags on cement so I don't think I'll have that issue anyway um, I've also heard People say that they've had problems with these mags rusting. So, but I just got mine. I haven't had an issue so far. I just put a light coating of oil on it, just in case. But what I don't like about these mags, okay, is this. 
This is a 17 round mag. I'm going to take one of my rounds out. 17 round mag. I cannot get more than 16 rounds in this mag. And that's even when I use a mag loader. It, these springs are so tight that I am literally don't want to use the word afraid, okay? But I'm very cautious not to try to put a 17th, well, the force, a 17th round in here because I might break something or, well, anyway. I can't get 17 rounds in a 17 round mag. I can only get 16 rounds in this mag. So, anyway, um, besides that, the mags work well. I didn't have any issues at the range. I didn't have any failures to feed, failures to eject. Um, they worked fine. I just can't get more than 16 rounds in a 17 round mag. So that was a little disappointing because if you buy a 17 round mag, in which I did, I bought the gun and the mags come with the gun. They're supposed to hold 17 rounds. Can only get 16 in here. Was it a deal breaker? No. Why? Because I really like this gun. When I took it to the range for the first time uh, today and shot it, it just performed beautifully. Very accurate, just a really great gun. Oh, let me talk to you about another upgrade I did. Okay, we've talked about a couple of my pros and cons and what have you. But let's talk about another upgrade I did. The barrel. Now the barrel is a little dirty because I just came back from the range. This is a performance barrel that I got from NDZ. Okay. And I gotta say, it's a, uh, okay, it's a match grade barrel, stainless steel, polished ramp, uh, crown barrel. Okay. Premium barrel is what it says here. So premium barrel. Gotta say, it really performs really nice. Now the stock barrel that comes with it, you know, it's not horrible, but it's a stock barrel. It's nothing to write home about. But this performance barrel, and I know it's pretty too. <laughs> I figure if I'm going to get it, why not get gold? You know, why not? Anyway, but the performance, I'm literally stacking my rounds. And I'm shooting from about, uh, well, I practice at self-defense distances at, at like 15 feet I'm stacking my I mean I'm stacking my rounds almost putting them in the same hole great barrel great upgrade the shooting experience at the range with this was just fantastic I'm going to tell you I really like this gun and uh, very soft shooting also I mean very soft shooting now granted it's a nine mil it's not like it's a 45 ACP or 357 magnum it's a nine mil Nine mils can be snappy, but I've got to say, very easy to control. Just felt really soft shooting. And uh, again, I love the way this gun feels. It feels really good. Um, like the sights on it, they're night sights. They glow in the dark. Um, it's got a Picatinny rail. What else can I tell you? Now, I did order a sleeve, a hog sleeve to put on this gun here. That's just personal preference because I like the way this sleeve, although it feels great without the sleeve, I gotta say, I love the way this gun feels. But the sleeve gives me a little, uh, enables me to handle recoil a little bit better. I like the little texturing, the finger grooves. I like the way it feels like on the back. And plus when you've been shooting for over an hour and you've gone through a couple hundred rounds, after a while, you know, your uh, hand starts to feel it. At least mine do, huh? But I'm getting older, okay? So I'm ordering a sleeve for it. But I got to say, my shooting experience at the range, I mean, really great. It was, I mean, I was doing so well with it, I had people complimenting me on my groups. <laughs> so, but when you've got a good performing gun to begin with, something that's very accurate, something that has a really good trigger and very reliable, I mean, you can do that. I mean, you can get great groups with this. So anyway, not going to drag this on again. Like the gun. There are a couple of things I didn't like to uh, begin with. 
didn't like the trigger. Well, I wasn't in love with the trigger. So the M Carbo trigger kit made a really big difference. Now, I can't talk about anyone else's experience, but I'm just saying mine. Love shooting this gun now. Love the trigger. Beautiful trigger. I mean, and the reset. I love it, okay. Um, the performance barrel that I put in here adds to accuracy. Now, was the stock barrel horrible? No. But I'm getting better groups with this barrel here, I gotta say. So overall, I'm very happy like with this purchase. Very happy with the upgrades I've done to it. You might want to consider doing this if you're not thrilled with the trigger on your SIG 365. Um, just something to uh, consider. And you might want to, if you want to go a little further, add a match barrel. So anyway, that's my uh, review. Um, size the mag, the mags work. Can't get past 16 rounds in here. But not a deal breaker. So anyway, those are my pros and cons. And that's my experience with the SIG P365. Let me know what you think, okay? Anyway, this is Red Zone 101. As always, I thank you for watching. Um, be safe out there. And uh, peace. Whenever possible. Take care, people.